Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Scorpio Cat Tarot. This reading is going to be for Libra for the week of April 12th through the 19th. And this week, you guys, I'm using my son's tarot deck. Um, he likes my channel quite a bit, and he wanted a deck for Christmas, so I got him one. And um, so I'm using his cards. Hey, Alex. <laughs> so let's see what Libra has going on this week, shall we? All right, we're starting off with the Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles, you can see there's two people down in here, and they're receiving the same amount of um, coins. So that's a fair partnership. That's equal. That's um, So it has something to do with your equal. Somebody who's on the same page as you. Somebody who is on the same playing field, basically. The Emperor. Okay, so the emperor is like old, wise, been there, done that. He's kind of the embodiment of all the kings, you know. He's protective, he's passionate, he's loving, secure, all of those. So the emperor's like been there, done that, bought the t-shirt, okay? You're not getting nothing past the emperor. So we have an equal partnership and an authority figure, father figure, masculine energy. Three of Cups, okay? That is like family and friends, uh, emotional support. That could be like a celebration with family and friends. Um, leaning on them for support. Knight of Cups. Okay, so that's uh, um, somebody bringing an offer um, of their emotions. They want to discuss their emotions with you, or you want to bring your emotional offer to someone. It's feelings. It's, you know, love, care, all that mushy stuff. But you're feeling like you want to give that to somebody. Mm -hmm. King of Pentacles. Okay, so the King of Pentacles is very secure, stable. Um, Relationship-wise, that is very committed, very stable partnership. It could be an engagement. It could be, um, you know, taking things to the next level kind of energy. It's very stable and secure, very grounded. And then this jumped out at me, which is the Three of Rods. Okay. Three of Rods, he's looking out over the ocean. He's considering traveling. So you could be maybe wanting to be traveling, um, maybe with your person. So, you know, maybe when all of this uh, coronavirus is over with, you could be doing some traveling, possibly with this person that you feel secure about. The High Priestess, okay. So she's very intuitive and knowing and just sort of spiritual and um, she's also kind of hidden, um, secretive, not deceptive, but like not putting it all out in the open. You know what I mean? Like holding her cards close to her chest, um, not laying it all out on her sleeve kind of thing. So you could be in that energy. You could just be kind of holding back and not fully discussing your feelings. The magician, you're manifesting um, something towards you. You're making something happen. You could be working on something. You could be thinking about it, putting um, positive energy into it, you know, trying to bring it to you. So I feel like it's regarding a person with this equal partnership, the three of cups, the knight of cups, the king of pentacles. I feel like um, there's somebody here that you feel very strongly about and you want to manifest this solid, stable relationship with them. But maybe you're not really laying all your feelings out there. You're holding back. 
the page of cups page is communication so again um wanting to talk to somebody about feelings but possibly not knowing how to do it okay the chariot jumped out uh chariot is forward movement that is victory over a situation so you're going to move forward with this and you're going to be successful in bringing it towards you whatever it is you're trying to manifest with this person um you're going to be successful The four of rods. Okay, so that's like happy, harmonious, solid relationship there. Okay, a lot of people say that this is a marriage card because it looks like after a wedding ceremony because there's wreaths everywhere. They're dressed in their fancy garments. She's holding a bouquet. You see, they've been at like a fancy, I don't know if it's a church or a castle. Okay, but a lot of people, a lot of readers read this as a marriage card. I see it as a very solid foundation at the very, very least. So you are wanting something very solid with somebody, but I think you're perhaps not telling them that for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And there's the Eight of Wands. You could be watching them on social media, um, but this is like happening soon. You see the, the, the wands are like rushing in. So this is swift action. This is something that's going to be happening soon. So you've been thinking about this for a while and really kind of trying to manifest it and you're wanting to put it into action with the chariot and the eight of wands. I think it's going to happen soon. I got another jumper. That's the two of cups. Okay, that's a divine partnership. You can't fuck with this. Excuse my language. <laughs> this is soulmate energy. This is, this is marriage. This is true love. So my darling Libra, whoever this person is, is your soulmate. Five of Cups, something left you feeling kind of disappointed. Either in yourself or the other person. Um, I don't know, something, something is left. What am I trying to say? didn't turn out the way you wanted it to <laughs> but you see three cups are knocked over and two are left standing up here in the corner so you still have hope in the situation um, I don't know maybe your timing was off or something happened between the two of you mm -hmm. the hermit okay so you've been deep in thought you're in your head you're you're thinking about this and mulling it over and just kind of isolating yourself and really thinking about shit you know so to recap, Libra, it looks like this person is your equal. You see them as your equal. You see it as a solid partnership. This is somebody that you feel like you want to care for and take care of. And uh, with the emperor there, your family and friends, um, it could be a celebration. You want to bring your feelings to them and have a solid relationship with them. You could be perhaps traveling with them soon. Um, you're not fully disclosing how you feel about this person, I think, because you're deep in thought and just really thinking about making this happen, this partnership, this union between the two of you. Okay, so that's the reading. Nice reading. Okay, to clarify this week, I am using the Astrological Oracle cards. All right, so I have your sign here, Libra. Ooh la la, look at Miss Fancy there. Mm -hmm, you bougie ass Libras. <laughs> All right, let me shuffle my um, planet cards. So this coupled with your sun sign card are, is going to give me a unique meaning. And I have a little book here I'll read from because there's so many combinations. So the sun, it's very positive, happy. All right, let's see. The sun in Libra. Sun and Libra, reveal your radiant inner beauty. See, I, that I said, I think you're holding back. You're not fully disclosing how you're feeling about something. You're not showing your full true self for whatever reason you're holding back. And you know what? The universe says, go for it. Unleash it. Shine, baby. The 
sun. All right, so that's what I got for you for this week, Libra. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Stay safe.